Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Yale Bulldogs and the Auburn Tigers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Tigers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Secondly, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Both teams looking to get things going here. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He lets it go. Sinks the shot. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Now trying to feed the low block. Here he is defensively. And this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely. Academy Award at its best. They go into the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Yeah. Number 21 gets the pass. Turns it over. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup down inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I think. And has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The frustration right there. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block for two. And off the mark. He puts it in with contact and all. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. And a momentary look from three-point land. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Hatcher picks up the foul. First team foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. That path, they're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. He sinks it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing.
There's the trap. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Working it around the perimeter. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Moving it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the small forward takes the feed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The power forward with the ball for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Bailey is fired up right now emotional. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Arm and foul. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The shooting guard takes the pass. He looks for the bomb. Yale is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Gave it up. With anticipation defensively. The point guard gets the ball. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Nick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Up and in. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Tries for two. Scorches the net. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the outside, he launches a three. He gets the bucket to fall. They work it around the perimeter. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Ten on the shot clock. Pushing that basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. He's got an open look for the shot. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. 
He gets the rejection. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. A high screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Yale are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Bailey comes up with it. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Bulldogs will step to the line for the first time. Gets his first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. And he'll kick it back outside. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right, thanks, Aaron. He shoots from right of the circle. He's money with the shot. Gave it up. He strips him clean. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picks off the lazy pass. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got a nice shot fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's the pick. There's the roll. Way off target. Number 24 is receiving lots of love from the crowd. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Now the high screen, and the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Took an apple turnovers either. He 
He bombs from outside. Drains the shot. Picked out of the air. He hammers it home. Watch this. Entry pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They get out on the break. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Takes the pass in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They're working around the perimeter with the fake. Up and inside! Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Puts up the tray. He drains the shot. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Nice high post screen. He shoots from the top of the key. He knocks down another bucket. Dude. This kid's got skills, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Let's it fly. Gets it to go. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Spacing. For the bucket, you bet you. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Yale have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. He steps up to the line. Makes the foul shot. There's a double team waiting there. From left of the circle. He gets it to go. How about an instant replay?
Here's a double team. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. And he scores despite the hack. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Jumped in front to take it away. back to the outside from the top of the circle awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J on the outside takes away the pass good defensive stance there against the spin move well the keys to beat him to the spot and he did a great job he anticipated that spin move steals a pass Gave it up. Intercepted. Count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. He gets it to go. Gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And back they come the other way. There's the pick. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Stolen. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Opportunity for two for one. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Accepts it. Shot clock is dead. They work it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. up a prayer he misses it the ball goes out of bounds points off turnovers dick a stat i know coaches pay a lot of attention to hey brad it sure is you want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers ultimately you want to nullify the easy basket at the end of the first half the tigers are down by eight it's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action.
Auburn seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Picks off the lazy pass. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Dumps it in. The fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The Bulldogs are ahead by eight. For two, the land. The Tigers are trailing by ten. Fake. The ball goes out of play. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Stolen away. There's a steal. Up, easy one. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. For the deuce. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Defense, 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 defense. They're working around the arc. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. No foul on that interception. No foul is right, Brad. That's Mr. Clean. Rodgers, pump fakes. Set that screen away. There's the trap. Take it away. The defense senses a five-second call. And he'll kick it back outside. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him. To and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. A strip of it in basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Up and inside. Picked off. He pushes it for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Great defense. Bailey handles the feed. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him a ball, though? 
Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. On the outside, the center handles the pass for the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. It won't fall. The power forward receives the ball. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. It's stolen. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Has a nice look at the basket. Strips the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post flasher is open. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Controlling the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. <laughs> Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot off the rim and no good gave it up great pressure great double team really explosive a whistle and a foul the coach not happy in the sideline See that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. Makes the shot. He hits his second. Locks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Into transition for two, sinks it. 
The Tigers are behind by 15. Now they work it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Robs him of the ball. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. The lay -in. How's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Pushes it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Goes up for two. This one's turned it into a big blowout, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He intercepts it. What a great strip. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Got a great athleticism. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes in. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket. That's good. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Fakes it. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Ten seconds on the shot clock. High post screen, going to use it. Trying to draw the foul. They can't keep these guys from scoring. Lazy pass. He draws a foul. Close first half, Dick, but this one is falling apart here in the second half, and uh, this looks like this one's over. Well, I also think they really increased their energy defensively. Their intensity is so much better, and they're forcing that turnover back, and then they know what to do with the turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Yale are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Oh, what a strip, Red. Gave it up. He throws up the shot. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. Down, down. 
He rejects it. He anticipated a pass well. Now they'll bring it up. He puts it up. He drains the shot. On the outside. He launches a three. He nails the shot. The Bulldogs are ahead by 25. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. Out there doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing him in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Dump it inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a screen up. There's the block. On the outside with the catch nice execution on the spin I tell you great spin move to the basket oh Mr. Nestler there's no need for that extracurricular stuff I agree but that was a great play now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it I think it's important to get to the free throw line Brad it demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper This is the second shot. Looking for a good shot. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He shoots from left of the circle. Bailey receives the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Double team now, bad angle. Take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Easy one. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. From three-point range, he drains the bucket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Oh, 
work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He takes it away. Here they go into the break. Oh, yes! He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Look at that spacing. He does the sweet fake shot. He shoots from left of the circle, tears it away. Then I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Let's it fly. He gets it to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent for guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He looks for the bomb. Drains the shot. Steals the pass. He tries the three ball off the mark for two. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes it away. seconds showing on the shot clock they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass We saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Yale came, they saw, and they conquered their first round foe, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second round matchup. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you.